But what is exactly lead generation? Lead generation means a lot. The first thing is lead generation uh, means you have to indicate that what is the uh, your information is the target audience. Your information on the target audience, right? The target audience means that means your client or the person you're working on behalf or uh, the business you're working on and the business needs the information of the targeted people or it's not only the targeted audience or not the targeted people, but it's also in, uh, informed that the audience is meaning um, prospect. So audience means prospect. <clears throat> we must understand what is a prospect means. The prospect and audience are same. Example, the name, the title or the designation or the solicitation, the address, uh, phone number, email IDs, um, purpose, or social links or the professional link, so many things, right? So that's called a lead. So if you count thousands prospect, the thousands prospect mean thousands leads. What you need to do? The lead generation um, on the video, I mean, like uh, whenever you watch my video, the previous videos on Bengali, those are basic information, the basic leads, but the leads means a lot. There are several types of leads, lead generation. The basic lead generation or just the data entry. That means you're collecting the prospect or the information from the globe or from the social um, media or the search engine, right? That's called the data entry or the basic lead. The second thing, people, they might ask you that, could you please figure out who would be the warm-up leads? The warm-up leads means those are interested. Those should shown their interest on your product or specific services. That's the warm-up leads. The third thing is um, audience or the client, they might ask you that, could you please figure out the hot leads for me? The hot lead means they are seriously interested. They are seriously interested on your product or service and they given you the words that yes, I will purchase your product or service on a certain date or the uh, near future date, right? And the final thing is closing deals. The closing deals is uh, very much important for all types of businesses. So that means if, if anybody asks you that, could you please generate the closing deals for me? then the price should be very high, seriously high. That means for each closing deals, they will provide you the percentage of the closing along with the hourly rate. Example, if you are working for a massive industry and per product price could be one million and Whenever you are going for selling a product whose price is one million, you will entitle, you will be entitled to claim at least ten percent of the commission. Ten percent commission of the product or the services. Plus your hourly rate or the day rate. So that's the closing deals. But there are several types of leads. Actually, we can say four types of leads. Basic or the data entry, warm up, hot, and the closing deals. Right. So could you please sh share me your screen so that means I actually can uh, create the profile for you. <clears throat> what is the profile? <laughs> Up on Pardon? I have signed up on Fiverr. I didn't open the profile, but I signed up with my email. 
Okay. Thank you. Could you please turn on your more profile for me? Right, on Fiverr. From the day one, we will definitely start selling our services. That means, that means, uh, if you are really good on designing Canva, then please, the first service will be on Canva. Designing the templates or building up the video for on behalf of the client. Okay. First of all, you already have signed up with your uh, using your Gmail, right? Or with your Gmail. So we have to go on, click on the A sign here, the profile button. You see the circle A. We'll go on it. Go to become a sailor. In this section, a um, green button that's called become a seller. Click on it. Um, so before you start with anything else, you have to read carefully all sorts of information that it's going to indicate to you. So that means ready to start selling on fiber. Is fiber is indicating something? It's ready to start selling on fiber. Are you ready? Definitely. Here's your breakdown. Here's the breakdown. So what is the breakdown means? That's what you can understand. First you need to see or first you need to watch. Then create your server profile and publish your gig. So two of the things. I already mentioned you that a profile means the signboard. And the gig means um, the products or the services in your business, of your business. <clears throat> what makes a successful fiber profile? The first impression matters always. It is the first impression matters. That means, example given, uh, you both, you and Sinha, you both are students, but you have a test. It's called the interview or it was the test. Right. So during the day of your test, your examiner, they want to see you, they will provide you the score on your appearance, other is on your skill, right? So Sinha or Alifa, one of you, didn't wear a good face, didn't climb your hair, uh, didn't, sorry, didn't comb your hair, um, your shoe wasn't polished well, um, your certificate was missed, right? And another person of you, your hair was welcomed, Brace was very good and fresh, looked nice. She was well polished and all certificates was really arranged. Who will get the solid mark? The first person or the second person? The Definitely appearance. the second person. That means the appearance, absolutely perfect. Thick. Right, the second thing is your skill. So the first person indicate she has got a loss of skill. But when the examiner asked her on of the skill, on of the skill among the skills, she couldn't give him a brief description. The second person, when she appears, when she been called, the examiner asked her. What sorts of skills do you have? She mentioned, I have five skills. And the examiner asked, right, could you please mention all of the skills out of this five? Then she started describing about the skill that, yes, I have these. This skill means that 
that still has this type of opportunities. And I already have this type of portfolios on this skill, like Gemini source happy. Then now you tell me who will get the solid mark, the first person or the second person? The second one. The second person. So exactly the fiber, the first thing is the appearance. That is how big you were. So that's the account, the profile. And the second thing is the skill, that means your gig, your product or the, your services. The first makes a successful fiber profile, the first impression matter. That's the impression. Create a profile that will stand out from the crowd on fiber. So that means, say you both already have the fiber profile and you already mentioned your geek, but those geek, um, we can say that every single day and a single seconds on fiber profile will open or all fiber profile is opening every single day in every single seconds. <clears throat> that means you will be so behind. You'll be very, very far. But your skill, if your skill or your profile has got a success, then you will be pulled up among those, among those profiles. So what you need to do in order to get or in order to pull up your profile first, here's the breakdown. Those are the breakdowns. Those five steps are breakdown. Take your time in creating your profile so it's exactly as you want it to be. So first thing is, you must have to take your time, think yourself, think wise, and then start creating the profile. Without thinking yourself, that yeah, I'm really good on designing, I'm really good on generating leads, I'm really good on uh, creating the new profiles, I'm really good on um, creating some sorts of uh, contents, I'm really good on uh, um, writing on the contents i'm really good on um do the social media marketing yeah uh, so think yourself what sort of skill do you want to really share on the fiber the fiber is important so take your time in creating your profile so it's exactly as you want it to be that means if you understand that your profile is good, then people will understand, yes, it's good. If you don't believe or if you don't have a trust on your profile, then nobody will pull up your profile. So first, think twice, create a profile that you want it to be on the fiber. Then people will start looking at it. Otherwise, none. So, say it on you. Trust on your skill. Build up the profile. Second thing is add credibility by linking out to your relevant professional networks. That means if you have the profile or the social media like Google, like LinkedIn, uh, like Facebook, like Dribble, um, and connected your or connect your phone number or it's called uh, just link your phone number with your fiber um so many different sharings then it's called the linking out the relevant professional networks so here so we actually can indicate you that uh, fiber hasn't got the opportunity exact opportunity with the linkedin so we actually can use the linkedin as a website so at credibility by linking out to your relevant professional network, we will definitely do. Accurately describe your professional skills to help you get more work. <laughs> what sorts of skills? <clears throat> Lead generation as a skill, designing as a skill, marketing as a skill, sales as a skill, um, creating portfolio as a skill, 
online marketing as a skill, social marketing as a skill, a uh, social media marketing as a skill, search engine marketing as a skill, SEO as a skill, and so many, and so on, right? So many skills you actually can find out whenever you we will go to the skill section. Put a face to your name. So just close to the fiber profile when it was indicating A. So on that A session, you must have to understand that how you can um, place your profile picture. Place your picture. That means it's not that the pictures are like you stay on as like a robot. No, not like that. But the profile picture should be you are very confident. Um, you know what you are going to do. It makes you you are not audit this type of picture. To keep our community secure for everyone, we may ask you to verify your ID. So I prefer you to you both create your own NID. So NID means a lot. If your fiber account restricted, they might ask you to create a uh, show you an ID, right? So that means they can verify it and reopen the accounts again for you. Do we need the NID? Exactly. That's an ID is very much important. Without no, the I'm NID, it, it is do we need it now? No, not right now. Not right now. Later on, whenever fiber may think that you might have the um unusual activities then they might ask to the nid to verify you so <clears throat> now go on the continue session the second one now let's talk about the things you want to stay clear of that means you shouldn't do that's the previous of the session was you should do and now you shouldn't do your success on fiber is important to us that means fiber is actually saying that your success is very much important to fiber Avoid the following to keep a line with our community standards. Fiber always have the community standards. That means it's not only the fiber, but also the uh, all sorts of uh, freelancing websites or freelancing platforms, all sorts of outsourcing platforms, they all have their own guidelines, all community, community standards. So providing any misleading or inaccurate information about your identity, that's the map. first thing. You shouldn't, you shouldn't provide any of your misleading information. If you do, then fiber may block you, restrict you for forever. It's not for a long time, but forever. They won't allow you to reopen a new account. So do not try to oh, uh, mislead yourself or do not intent to mislead yourself mislead means the false informations inaccurate information as an example how the inaccurate information would be you alifia alifia has seen if you open or create a new accounts on your brother's name that should be the misleading you already provided your information as alifia and another name, your surname is another name. And Fiber, if they understood that this person is doing something unusual, they might restrict your account and they ask you that what is your NID? Could you please show us your NID? And you somehow showed, showed them your NID and they find out that your name is Alifia Hassin, not the Alifia and blah, blah, blah. Then they will definitely restrict you forever so that's the misleading information date of birth it might be wrong right they might give you another chance but you constantly providing them the misleading information they will definitely lock you out opening duplicates account remember you can always create more gigs it is very much offense to create a duplicate account. That means you have an account called Alifia Hassin, but you are not entitled to create a new account on um, Alifia something else or another another accounts on your computer. It's very much offense, offensive. 
So first fiber actually can provide you there. Fiber can allow you to create at least seven minimum gigs. Seven minimum gigs. That means in on gig, you can say that I am a very good designer. I can design on behalf of you. I am a lead generator. I can generate a list for you. I'm a content writer. I can create the good uh, killer contents for you. I'm a web developer. I can develop a web for you. I am a Shopify designer. I can design the Shopify store for you. You know, this, these are the sample of the gigs. So you can create over seven gigs for basic, um, for time being, you can actually create seven gigs. But after that, I think they allow you to create more and more gigs if you start getting the orders. Soliciting other community members for work on Fiverr. Never solicit. Solicit means you are judging. You are judging others. Remember, Fiverr knows better than you. Remember, the client of Fiverr knows better than you. Remember, you are soliciting others. The other person knows but may know better than you. So, you couldn't judge others. That's the soliciting. <clears throat> Requesting to take communication and payment outside of Fiverr. Example, Alifia's, Ali, I, I know that Alifia's mother has got um, a business, which is the food delivery business. And she cooks food, she delivered the cook foods to banks. So the person who works under her, what she did, or what she, did, what she does, he can grab a customer and never take to Alifia's mother. That means he has stolen one of the customer. How Alifia's mother's feel would be? It would be super angry. Oh, that's my customer. Why you steal my customer from me? So it's exactly the same to Fiber will act like. Now, if Fiber doesn't know that <clears throat> you already grab your own customer, but if your customer, the customer from Fiber, they ask you that, okay, Alipia, here is my job details. Could you please do the job for me? After doing a job, then I'll definitely give you the salary or payouts. Right. So you are really happy. You have done the job and submitted it. But you found the person flee what your feelings would be. Your, the feelings would be like, Oh, if I get the person again, I will kill him or her. If you try to make a complaint against the person to Fiber, Fiber may ask you, where is the customer's information? I didn't see, we didn't see any, um, any communications, any conversations over the Fiber. Where is your work? Where did you submit it? Or when? If you don't have the proper information, then fiber may block you for long, forever. That means if fiber somehow get to know that you already taken the uh, uh, customer outside of fiber, they will definitely kick you out. If somehow they figure out that you already taken the payments outside of the fiber, remember some of the fiber person clients they are really, really dangerous. They might give you the job, they might provide you the money outside of the fiber. And then if they feel, oh, um, I should do something, um, something nasty, then they might make a complaint against you on fiber and fiber will definitely kick you out. So that's the offense. Do not try to do this practice. So request to take the communication, request, requesting to take communication and payments outside of Fiverr. Do not do it. Do not do this. 
continue. Personal information. So what's your personal information? So B, again, it's very much important that your first name, the full first name and the last name, first name or the surname should be as exactly as same as your certificate or the NID cards. So example, your, I don't know your first name is, this might be Alifia, isn't it? Is it the same? Is it the good one, Alifia? Or is it correct? Is the correct name, Alifia? No, it's all right, but I have two last names. My, I mean, I'm, I have a middle name. So if you have the middle name, please write it here. H A double S I N. And what would be the last name? <clears throat> okay. <Fine. clears throat> then the second thing would be the profile picture. Click on here. I don't have a picture of my face. You should be supposed to have. I have on WhatsApp. I can download it. Please download it from the hostel. I have to search for it. Sure, definitely. Why not? Wait a minute. I can do it easily. Just you can do it know. later on. Okay. Right. Any any good pictures would be fine. Do I have to give my picture on it or any picture? Your picture. Any of your picture. Just give me a minute. I'm done. Well, thank you so much. That's a very good, nice picture. Um, description on the descriptions, you must have to share some a little bit of your experience, your project, your uh, your information. So it's here that share a bit about your work experience, school projects you have completed, and your area of expertise. So in this case, um, what was we actually can share? So write something. Um. Um. Appreciate you. you appreciate. I appreciate your visiting your visit on my profile. Profile. My name is Alicia, and I am one of the digital marketers. And uh, 
digital marketers. Uh, contents, killer content, create killer contents, create killer contents. For various market various right so <clears throat> the first thing is we must have to understand that your sentence should be uh, appropriate accurate and uh, it's very simple if your sentence is not simple then it's awkward it's really word right so that means we must have to understand that we should keep our sentence very simple right not a large, large sentence so um, I will in, I will show you that how to use the paraphrasing software in this case if you have um, <clears throat> if you have doubts about your sentences then first we actually can go if we clear the sentence then <clears throat> we should use Quillboard U U I L A Quillboard Quillboard is automatic automatic software which is uh, on a type of artificial intelligence software. Is the artificial intelligence uh, is, is always using the machine learning objects. Or machine learning algorithm. That means <clears throat> it will allow you to convert your sentence to an accurate one. For example, appreciate your visit on my profile. My name is Alifia and I'm one of the digital marketers who create killer contents for various marketing. If we hit on the phrase, that means thank you for looking at my profile on my digital uh one of the digital marketers who produce killer content for various marketing is me. My name is Alifia. You, you actually can uh, use this on behalf of your profile. Sounds good. So, um, we can actually, um, we can use this like, instead of that sentence because this sentence is more clear than the paraphrase. I mean, like converted sentences, we can use that. Right, so it was actually asking the portfolio of your work previous work. I prefer design by using Canva, by using Canva in order to get killer content. Killer content. So not contents, but the content, but content. Okay, here, <clears throat> uh, I also um, create small short video, shorts, that means short video, for stories, the stories so that
service or product or product the maximum if maximum if the maximum number of users so that means this sections actually can indicate in you are a content writer or content designer developer right we actually can convert <clears throat> i like using camera for designing design in order to produce top notch content so in order to reach the greatest number of the consumers with the service of product, I also make short videos for stories. That's fine. That means I will replace these lines. Okay. So 338 out of 600. That means we already use four lines. That's enough. <coughs> Okay, language. So, what would be our language? Language selections is a very most important uh, selection. Uh, language selection is very most important. And people mostly intend to know that what your mother tongue is. Sometimes, if you indicate, they already know that you are from Bangladesh. Sometimes people doesn't have the minimum idea that what your language is. So if you indicate that English, and I know that you you both are very fluent, so we can you can you can actually indicate that fluent. The native bilingual means that if you if you um are born and brought up in some other countries, then it would be native bilingual. But fluent means a lot, so I will uh, indicate fluent. Continue. Your occupation, what's your occupation would be? Digital marketing, graphics designing, writing, translation, uh, program, tech, music, and audio, video, and animation. So we actually can indicate we are the digital marketers because you have the solid capacity to be a very good digital marketer. I know that I actually can prepare you the solid uh, to be a to be a very good digital marketer, or I can uh, you can get the very solid uh, pillar of the digital marketing. So uh, we can actually indicate that uh, when your occupations will start from. Um, in this case, you can use 2020. So that means if you use 2020 till 2022, it's fine. Because it's only five, but they, they want to know that when your uh, professional career started. So I prefer, I know that my students, you both are my students and you have the well qualifications, well quality. And if you know the digital marketing things, then um, I would like to say that you indicate yourself from 2020. So choose two or five of, uh, of your best skills in digital marketing, what would be that? So content marketing, we already know that content marketing is also very much important for us the content marketing uh, <clears throat> and of course the email marketing email marketing is very much important marketing and strategy um domain basis social media marketing that means it's five out of five we can indicate add new <clears throat> select the occupation designing we can go for designing not writing is trans uh, translation we'll go for designing graphics and design same as here we will go for 2020 till 2020 only for fiber not for others this this session is only for fiber so 
presentation design does a ppt uh resume resume visit background and environment character modeling graphics team invitation for photoshop editing social media design social media design fine vector tracing <clears throat> i will show you how to do it infographic that means the resume character design also very much important so that means you have the um very top class designing sense character design versus the animation animated characters infographic the resume presentation the ppt vector tracing that means uh the svg can trace out from out uh, in the Adobe illustrator and the social media design that means the social media contents skills what your skills should be the first thing is the content content add uh, then the experience level should be expert because um if this this is the basic sessions of the fiber profiles and you must have to indicate that yes you, you have a very solid foundation of the contents the content creation <coughs> You must have indicated that is part. I will show you if you if you figure out some of the clients, then definitely I will help you to create the uh, killer contents. Now, go on the email content. Fold email. Fold email. So, fold email. I will show you how to create the cold emails. Add new. Uh, content, content marketing, content designing is also important. So, see, expert level, add, um, add new, LinkedIn is also important. LinkedIn marketing, LinkedIn profiles. Mm. Add. LinkedIn equipment, which is um, my section, my people, they also are very good recruiters. So I will definitely teach you how to be a very good recruiter. LinkedIn recruiting, that's new. LinkedIn research. In this session, we have another LinkedIn session, which is LinkedIn banner design. Um, in this session, you can add other skills later on. But for time being, you just get focused on your content. Okay, so resume, let's do resume. Is there any resume things here? Resume design here. You see resume design. So it is part. And can go on. See the presentation design. Business presentation templates or presentation design. Presentation design, right? Create expert. Click on expert and press add. Now go on the education level. You must have to indicate that your education country, your educational country is Bangladesh. And the college and university name. So your most recent college name. That means you are in the Dhaka City College. Dhaka City Colors Title That should be the title That should be Associate And Major should be Commerce Business Card
Okay. The first one, the business studies. And when you are going to pass your subject. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, sir. Add. Now certificate of hours. Certificate or hours. So um what's your certification would be? Here you can actually can indicate that um, certificate is HSC. HSC, which is higher secondary certificate examination, and then certificate from um education board college. Year twenty twenty three. Okay, fine. We can adjust the certification later on. Year twenty twenty three. Personal website. The personal website is very much important. In order to create a personal website, you must have to create your LinkedIn. If you have the LinkedIn accounts, we can actually um. Create your LinkedIn account later on, enhance the LinkedIn account later on, but for the time being, we can use a link. <clears throat> Profile view, Alifia. On the presentation section, provide a link and then press continue. Right. This, you can see the completion rate 35%. Google verified Facebook should press the connect. If you have Facebook open in your computer, press login. Please create your Facebook or log in your Facebook. So that means it automatically can be connected. My Facebook is not logged in, logged in in this laptop. I particularly don't remember the password. Right, okay, no problem. Leave the Facebook then. But it's very much important, right? It's really important in order to get the eighty-five percent uh, completion rate. So we can go on the Twitter. Twitter is very important here as well. So if you have Twitter, sub uh, sign up the Twitter. And then, and then connect. I so, don't have Twitter. Right, so we can. Verification complete. That means it's automatically eighty five percent. That means you are ready to go for create a new gig. So your solar profile is all set, right? Done, and that means you are entitled. To create a new gig. I will do. I will do, or I will create. Okay, we we actually can um create a gig. We actually can create a gig next week. Not today because the gig is very much important. So. I make sure I want to make sure that you are really good at creating your new resume of the profiles or the templates we actually intend to uh, place on the gig. That's the main important thing. So gig title would be um I will I will create a template, killer templates for you. I will create a killer uh, resume templates for you, or I will create um uh, Killer PPD templates for you, right? So if I, in this session, the Google title, a gig title, I prefer you to see or you to watch my previous lectures. 
using Bengal Bengali. So if you have the uh, information subject key, then I I know that you actually can start building up your first key, right? So what you need to do, you have to research your key. You have to research others key that how they actually can indicate their skills over the fiber. If you have all the informations in your hand, um, use the word file. So that means on the search button. On Ajastan. Right. <clears throat> so you have the information of the fiber. You know how to research um somebody's gig and if you have the word file or uh, if you don't have the word microsoft word then go use your google uh, docs instead of the word so where you can access your google google doc you can see the nine dots here use that or click on it figure out the docs here. You see the Google Doc. Rename the Google Doc. Blank. Damn it. Research and then. Share with me. Thank you. I would like to see that how you have to research the gig other things, how you can find out. So you are still on the server mode. And you can see that um this year me designer. three services are available. So those people, they are really good on creating resume design, the new resume. So I will make professional resume design on modern CV templates. I will provide resume design and resume writing. I will design and write your resume and cover letter. I will revamp or design your resume CV cover letter to uh, superior one. Ah, so those, those are actually the sample of the people Whoever actually has got the uh, services on Fiverr, the resume makers, they are resume creators. They um, design various resumes on behalf of the world's people, global people, right? And they are selling it by uh, on ten dollar, fifteen dollar, fifty dollar, eighty dollar. See, um, it actually depends on the rating. Depends on the rating. So. The top rated means the seller actually indicated. Uh, this section is indicated the seller position is a top rate. Level to seller means the seller has completed 40 plus projects, successful projects. Level to seller means has completed 40 plus uh, projects. So top rated seller means top rated seller means the seller already 
completed 100 of her projects. That means the top rate is right? Okay, so I prefer you to see, visit all of these people with the profiles, how they actually um, created their own gigs. And I, I, understand, I know that we will take the idea out of these profiles and create your own gig, create your own gig. So before you create, publish your gig here, you must have to indicate that you are going to do, first your description should be your go a gig. That means uh, the profile, that should be the basic uh, gig, a standard gig, and the professional a premium gig. So you have to go one by one here, right? Uh, if you if you watch my video on my previous videos, then you can have all the informations that how you can create it. Right? So far so good today. I would really appreciate if you share me everything. This week is your testing week. Is it clear? Any questions to so far? No, no, I don't have a question, but um the previous resume that I saw uh, that I showed you. Mm -hmm. I've made some modifications to it. I would like it if you watch. It. Yes, please. I haven't saved it yet. If you want Canva, then it's automatically saved there. Yeah, Canva is saved on Canva, but I didn't download it on the computer. It's all right. You don't need to download it. Let's go on your projects or template. Here is a project. <clears throat> one more thing. Yeah, go on. I'm having a bit of problem. What's the I'm, problem? I can't see. I can't align the paragraph over here about me. Okay, so alignment, right? Yeah. So that's that's the paragraph things, right? Oh. Okay, so you have, have to, you have to yeah. You have yeah. to use the paragraph sections, subsections, or the body text. So if you have the paragraph, you see the alignment, alignment section. Yeah, that's the alignment. See, if you if you have if if you have doubt as how you actually can um remove the space among the lines, then this the text size. <laughs> Fine, so far so good. Thank you so much for today's session. Okay, tell me about this resume. Is it okay or do I need to make a, it a bit more improved? Mm, I need the proper resume. It's not completed. What's missing? 